I figured out why I was a little bit confused about mm. SA Live. Why is that? Because the open road hat, um, I was trying to come up with the name of that. That's an open road that you were holding. An open road hat? Yes. I don't know. I will ask the expert. Margot Huckabee from the Hat Bar. Is that an open road hat? An open road hat? I know. We don't know. I don't know. That's what that's what Ursula had said. Now, you have all sorts of hats for all occasions. Summer hats, everything too, yeah. right? Okay, and then you can really make it look like it's not just store-bought. How do you do that? So there's a bunch of different ways, but my favorite way is to actually start this hat on fire. Set the hat on fire? Yes, set the hat on fire. That sounds like something you don't want to do to a hat. No, it's awesome. It makes it really rustic looking and it's different. We experimented. You're not going to believe this coming up. All right, if you want to grab a nice little refreshing cocktail, how about hitting the rooftop bar? And that's where Fiona is right now. That's right. We are here at Paramore and Cheers. We are going to be showing off some summer cocktails and tell you about a fabulous event coming up. All right, need a fabulous gift for somebody or gifts? And Teresa Chen with Buy Blue Bonnet is here. What's in the box? So Buy Blue Bonnet, we are um, your go-to for anything custom, for corporate, and for um, monthly subscriptions. All local vendors. Speaking of which, you may want to put some of this chamoy in here. We're going to talk to nothing really but chamoy and all the great flavors. More flavors than you've ever seen of chamoy. That and a whole lot more. Great deals and some great prices at one store coming up on SA Live. Well, now let's look at the forecast. We're at 94 right now. We are forecasting to be up around 102. Of course, the bigger news potentially today could be the fact that a couple of showers pop up on radar by the afternoon. It's a very, very small chance, but we will be watching for that. Other than that, it's a hot forecast. Could even get hotter by the weekend, guys. Could it get hotter? I don't know. 104 is pretty up there. <laughs> and that's in the shade. Let's call it a day on yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Let's call it a day for us here on the news I at noon. See, I looked it up. It is an open road. You know what? Why don't we just ask them? Because SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live, protect yourself from the sun and look fashionable at the same time. Get yourself a unique and personalized hat from this local vendor. Plus, it's the sweet and sour combination you have been waiting for. We get to eat our way through local chamoy makers recipes. And cheers to ending summer with last hurrah with your friends at this San Antonio rooftop bar. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. And this is what we were talking about. You get ready and light the hat on fire. Yes, indeed. And then you spray that down a little bit more. All right, here we go. All right. It's TV. Keep going with it. How long do you let that burn? I mean, it depends on how you want your hat to look. If you want it more stressed, you okay. would burn it longer. All right. We are going to talk more about that in a minute. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. Fiona is out enjoying a nice little cool beverage at a rooftop bar. And, okay, in this, in this heat, well, you don't want to wear a hat that's on fire, but you want to do something to protect yourself from the sun and the intense heat around here. And Margot Huckabee. The lady that likes to play with fire on hats is here from the hat bar. Okay, explain this lighting the hat on fire. So lighting the hat on fire is going to give you a rustic kind of worn look. So a lot of people don't want to wear a hat that looks straight out of the box. Like they just went shopping for it. They but want something that looks... Not that dime store cowboy. Right, okay. a little used, a little more country and rustic. So how much further would you do that in different spots then yes. too? Yes, so you basically just spray it around and then light it on fire. Uh -huh. But it depends on the hat. You want a good quality hat. You don't want to do this with just like a hat that you're going to go buy at Target or something. It needs to be a very good wool hat. Because if you spray it with the alcohol, it may just kind of go... Well, yeah. I just flushed that money down the... Absolutely. Yeah. Interesting. All right, these yeah. felt hats, I mean, we always think of this right around rodeo season, too. Right. But, I mean, wearing a heavy felt hat in the summertime, eh, I know a lot of folks do, but yes. that can get a little warm. I think so. It gets a little hot, but that's why we have hats for every season. So we have straw hats like the one I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. We have visors, and everything is customizable. So you pick your fabric, you get to do whatever you want. 
And then also a trend right now is coastal cowgirl. And so that's going to be, you know, hats that look like Western hats, but are straw hats. Okay, and you can kind of drop them in the sand. And, yes. you know, all. and that's uh, just like you said, a little sample of all the things that you had there, because yes. it's something for the whole family. It's not just all cowboy, like a right. lot of stores are. No, right here, we right? even have matching mommy and me hats, like these pink hats right here but we have them for a dad and a son as well. So you could do something where you burn this hat and then you burn your son's hat and you can make it a little bit more masculine as well. Okay, and then the other part is to customize it. So yes. what would you do with, with that hat now so that we So this one, once I would fully burn it, I would probably add some leather. Okay. Just to kind of make it a little bit more masculine. So I'd probably wrap it with some leather a few times. And then, oh, even more, okay. Yes. And then you can also, like you said, um, put the branding. So if some, you want yes. somebody's initials in there. We or... have brands, so we have all sorts of brands. Right there, this, and boy, whoops. Oh, we're not, uh, she's not messing around when she says brand, because that has gone very, very deep yes. into the felt right there. Does that, but that doesn't damage the head. No, right? and we can even customize brands. So say someone's getting married or someone wants the brand of their ranch, we can order them a brand and we can put that on their hat. Oh, really? Yes. And you said they, that's kind of a fashion piece as far as weddings are concerned too. Yes, so weddings and hats are a big deal. A lot of brides are, wet, are wearing hats and so are the bridesmaids and it makes for really cute pictures. And again, we can make them a custom brand. So say we can do their initials, we can do a heart with their initials that they can wear on their wedding day. Boy, that's, put your wedding, their wedding yes. vows in there or something like that. Uh, and then a veil and a blusher on a hat like that too? Yes, we could do even lace to match her dress. We could do a little white feather. There's so many options. What got you into, into doing hats like this? So a few years ago, I saw a hat pop up and I was wondering why don't we have anything in San Antonio like that? We have the biggest rodeo, but also people just love hats. So I asked my friend Jana if she wanted to start this business. She said yes. And that's kind of how it started. But we wanted to make sure that it was for everyone. So not just women, but also men and also kids. And then not just Western, but straw hats and things you'd wear to the beach or to garden. Okay, and just about every color. I mean, yes. there's that, that vivid blue and there's a perfect example of that uh, beach hat. Okay, the best way to take care of a hat. I have always heard that when you take it, you get it, you always set it down yes. like that, right? If you're going to dinner or something, you wanted to set your hat down, yes. All right, but what about just kind of long-term care at right. home? Because, you know, it gets blocked and, and you want to keep it nice yes. and, and fresh, right? So the best way to store it would be into in a box like this. Mm -hmm. And every hat that we sell, we give you a box like this. Okay. And if it's a Western hat, it'll have like a little thing to hold the okay. brim. So it will just keep the nice shape there. Yes, and if your hat ever you know, gets flimsy, all you have to do is steam it. So sometimes when your hat gets crushed, you could literally steam it even over a pot of water if you don't have a steamer. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I have to ask, can you take the leather off and so we can kind of finish the rest of the hat? Because this was just the highlight of the day when we were yes. sitting there lighting this thing on fire. So where it's can fun. folks find you as you begin to light the hat on fire? Sure, so we have a small little location. It's in Alamo Heights. It's across from Paloma Blanca on Broadway. We're right now appointment only, but we are going to be opening some time soon. But you can also find us on Instagram, so Hat Bar SA, and just message us, and we're always at pop-ups too. Okay. We do pop-ups, we do different events and weddings. And if you mentioned that you saw her light the hat on fire, you are gonna get 10% off? 10% off. Okay, and yes. again, don't try this at home, kids, because she is an expert. <laughs> As we finish up, lighting the hat on fire, and if you'd like more information, <laughs> It's like I want to get out some marshmallows and start roasting them here. And we have a fire going and it's 100 degrees outside. If you want more information on the hat bar, of course, head over to SALive.com. Click on the SA on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Thank you so very much. You made my day setting the hat on fire. I love that. Appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. It is time to join Fiona, and she is out there enjoying a nice little libation, libation I should say, but that would be a perfect place to celebrate if you won the lottery, right, Fiona? More than a billion dollars up for grabs tonight. First thing you would do, would you oh, yes. buy a horse, buy a car, go uh, on vacation, quit your job, or get a lawyer? 
Okay, well, they'd all be done relatively quickly, one after another, but I would start with the lawyer. <laughs> Good idea. Yes, I would not quit my job until the check was in not only cash, but in the bank and something like that. So, and that would be a perfect place to celebrate over there, right, Fiona? Oh, absolutely. I mean, talk about a billion dollar view, right? We are here atop at the rooftop bar Paramore and joining me right now is Julissa Medrano, bar manager. And of course, Christy Waters, also manager here at Paramore as well as best local celebrity and best drag queen for 2023. And we are gonna be making some summer cocktails. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Okay, yes, <laughs> let's get the party started. What is the first one we're making? Okay, so we're making our Oaxaca Old Fashioned. So I'm gonna add reposado tequila, mezcal. The thing about this Old Fashioned is that it actually doesn't have any whiskey in it. Ah. Then our house-made bitters. So now what is the reaction from folks when they taste it? You know, at, well you still get the smokiness because uh -huh. of the mezcal, okay. but it's really good. I have yet to have any complaints. Oh, well we yeah. love that track record, yes. right? <laughs> okay. And then to top it off, Oh, watch out, flambe. Uh, <laughs> go, baby. There we go. Get a nice burnt orange in here. Oh, yeah, and you can smell that, too. There we go. All right, and cheers. Toss it in there. So that is the first refreshing yeah. summer cocktail with a little bit of heat, because why not? I mean, it's South Texas. Now, Christy, you are going to be making what? Our tequila mockingbird. So okay. Christy, go ahead and muddle your watermelon and your jalapeno. Okay, and Christy, while you are muddling that, I mean, what did it mean for you to win not only Best Local Celebrity, but Best Drag Queen? It means a lot uh, that it's coming actually from the city and it's people of the city of San Antonio mm -hmm. that vote for this. So it means a lot that doing what I do here uh, really means a lot to people in the city that it, I take them away from their everyday life for about an hour right. um, of whatever their everyday life is to just come and enjoy life here on the rooftop. Okay, all right, so we've got that muddled. Yes. What's the next step? You can go ahead and add your tequila, your agave, your lime, and then shake it up. All right, and while you are doing that, Christy, tell us what's happening Saturday night. Saturday night, uh, I'm running for River Queen uh, Royalty of 2024 for Fiesta, and we're having a big uh, kickoff party, uh, my first event of the season, to uh, raise money for the Riverwalk uh, hospitality for scholarship funds for UTSA and Alamo colleges around the city. So, and of course, event. and there's a fabulous vibe here at Paramore too, right? Yeah, it's uh, we don't care who you are, what you do, who you love, as long as you don't hurt anybody. Come here, have a great time with us, and get a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so what is next for you, and who's your inspiration? Next for me uh, would be to win River Queen. Uh, first, uh -huh. and then I would say inspiration is, oh no, I made a yeah, mess. It's, See, it's, this it's is okay. what happens when a drag queen's a, a bartender, <laughs> which is get drunk. Uh, I would say inspiration is anybody who gets on stage and in front of a drunk audience and does this is a big inspiration to me, All so. Right. Thank you so much, Christy, and thank you so much, Hulisa, and thank cheers, you. everybody. Now next, we are going to be looking at the restaurant next door, Colette, here at the Phipps, and we'll be enjoy and we'll be previewing a little bit of what they have there to eat. So cheers. Cheers. You know, I think that's the first time that we've had back-to-back -back guests using flames. We were burning a hat here, and she was doing that with that orange peel, so. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Fiona. Enjoy the cocktail. And if you'd like more information on the Barrymore and uh, Christy Waters, head over to salive.com. Click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code right about there on your screen. All right, when I say live continues with summer love, my movie knowledge is put to the test. Play along and guess the movie before the clock runs out. Let me guess. I don't know the name of that movie. Anyway, and boy, oh boy, it's Chamoy. We put together Chamoy snacks and drinks for the ultimate flavor combinations. So many different flavors. You're going to love them all. That's coming up. Welcome back to SA Live. We are full of joy when it comes to Chamoy. Poet and don't know it. Anyway, joining us now is Odessa Urbacaba, who is the owner of Odessa's Dips. And basically, it is 
chamoy and more chamoy and more chamoy, right? Chamoy, many flavors. That gets kind of tough with your when you say chamoy too many times in a row. You know, <laughs> say chamoy, chamoy, chamoy. So, how many different flavors have you come up with? Um, now? I have eleven different flavors, and. They're all just the normal flavors, but I can also make them spicy. Ah, and they range from one extreme to the other almost, right? Yeah. Okay, what is your most sour flavor? My most sour is pickle. Pickle? Okay. Yes. And you told me you want me to taste it, and so this is the pickle. Is it like real sour sour? It'll leave your tongue green. What? Oh my good, yeah, it's sour. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, it's, oh, oh, I can keep talking, okay. Now, to counter that, your sweetest is the peach? Yes. Okay. Try this one. Wow, that's sweet. Now, and you said, yeah, those go from two extremes to the other, and then you said your This most is my most popular, blueberry. I don't think I've ever heard of blueberry flavored chamoy before. How'd you come up with all your different flavors? Um, it, just experimenting. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you know me, what if we turn this into a chamoy? But oh, that's good. It is very good. Oh, that's really good. Super and good. you have a lot of different candies and things like that that I you do. then coat. So yeah. what are we making right here? Today we're just doing a variety of candy. We're going to coat it in my chamoy, which I use for all my candy, uh, regular chamoy. Uh -huh. okay. And then my blend of Lucas that so, I also make. So what are some of the candies in here? And some you may not have thought of, too. Oh, yeah. Like what? We have peach rings. We have starbursts. We have cherry sours. How much? That's enough. That's enough? Okay. Yeah. And then you're just massage, massage it. it all in? Yes, you're going right. to massage it. And you have some that are authentic Mexican candies. That I do. I have some gummy bears, some gummy worms. I have Sour Patch Kids. I have some Nerd Clusters. Okay. Keep going. Massage. you got to make them with love. Oh. Mix, <laughs> mix it with love here. So, all right. And then, and then can folks buy this at your store? Yes. Well, I don't have a store right now. I am... Um, at local markets, okay. and we're just going to sprinkle. All right, a couple little sprinkles on top there, all right, and then massage that all in. Yes, massage. Okay, and I've got to try a Starburst with chamoy Wait, not on. yet. Oh, keep sorry. Oh. Massage, keep massaging. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> keep massaging. So, all right. now, why, again, why did you come up with just doing chamoy? I started off thing? only with chamoy. Yeah. Um, I started off with, like, three different flavors. I'm going to add some more. And um, you don't scrimp on this, do you? No, we're gonna coat them. We're gonna make them enchilados. Ah, okay. And not only that, you've got all sorts of candies. Yes. You've got the little. Can you get the little key ring things yeah. at your place? Oh wow, okay. You can just you can use these. You can put them on your jeans. You can put them on your purse. Anything. Because you never know when you're gonna. You need never chamoy. know when you need chamoy. What can you put chamoy on? Everything. What can't you put chamoy on? What Are wouldn't you, you put chamoy on? You can put it on everything, literally everything. Now, now can I try a Starburst? Yes, try okay. it. Okay, that's really good. And you said your flavor, oh, and you also have um, an agua, agua frescas. Yes. And what flavor is that? Uh, so this is watermelon. My mom made it for me. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people, it's dipped with blueberry chamoy. A lot of people ask me, what is blueberry, you know, what is it good on? And I've tasted it with watermelon, and it tastes really good. Okay. So mom's watermelon, I will fresh up. My and chamoy. <laughs> and your chamoy. Oh, that is a really good combination. Oh, that's very good. It is. Mm-hmm. Okay, how can folks get your, your thing? Pardon me, I'm, Starburst <laughs> tends to stick to your teeth. Not good interview food. <laughs> how can folks get your stuff? Um, you can uh, message me on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook. Um, even TikTok, and uh, you can also find me at local markets. So you do all of this chamoy, and you have three kids? I do. How old are they? I have an eight-year-old, a five-year-old, and a ten-month-old. What's their favorite? Uh, my son, he loves the pickle. Mm -hmm. My daughter, she loves the strawberry and the blueberry. Really? And the baby, well, she's, she's not there yet. <laughs> but, yeah. Roll on video, try the pickle with the baby, and watch the face just go all <laughs> by her. So. Okay, well, if you would like more information on Dessa's dips, and again, all of these little things, even the uh, little packs that Oh, my we, little tiny baby ones. Oh, little tiny baby packs, yeah. So you can, you know, just kind of hang on to these little, little baby Party packs. Party favors. Right? We even have dutas on a stick as well. Perfect. Head on over to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. And again, you can take the little, uh, little 
keychain and keep it on your belt yep. whenever Head you need to. Because, purse. like she said, it goes on everything. Everything. Thank you, dear. Appreciate it. All right, sell ahead. It's back to school products from all local vendors. Plus, save yourself time before school starts with meal prepping. And oh, what a deal. It is a huge selection of everything clothing, shoes, tools, and a lot of electronics, too. Details are next. Prices going up all over the place on all kinds of things. We need a shop where you can find something for less than 10 bucks. And we have found that today. Yes, we are at What a Deal on Nacogdoches. And I'm here with owner Sam Jaber. Hello, Sam. Hello. Thanks for having me. Okay, Thanks so you have some incredible deals we here. Do. Tell us how your pricing works. So, our biggest day is Friday. Prices start at $9. So, customers can come in, they can, you know, get electronics and a lot of other stuff for $9. Um, Saturday goes down to seven, Sunday goes down to five, Monday three, Tuesday two, mm -hmm. and Wednesday it's a dollar. And we close Thursday for restocking. Okay, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. First of all, those prices alone, and are all of these items new or used, or how does that work? Well, we have new, we have used, and we have refurbished. Okay. So yeah, we get kind of like a mix of all three. And we have some of the more popular items we today, do. right? So mm -hmm. what do we have here? So we have a slow juicer that goes for $89. Customers can get it for nine today. Wow. Um, we also have like an espresso maker mm -hmm. that goes for $129, I believe. You can get for $9. And we have this projector that goes for about 200 bucks, I believe, and they can also get it for $9. $9. Mm -hmm. This is blowing my mind. This might go home with me, okay? Because <laughs> I got $10 in cash in my pocket. Okay, so why did you decide to open this store? So growing up, you know, we wanted electronics. You know, back in my day, it was like Nintendo and, and stuff like that. My parents, you know, they did what they could, but we hardly ever got any electronics growing up so we kind of came up with this idea to bring like cheap electronics where people can get it at an affordable price yeah mm -hmm. we, we can all relate to that too Ooh, right the yes. struggle so, <laughs> so thank you by the way for You're that welcome. because i'm sure the community i'm sure you see that with people who come in here right? i do yes Very we get beautiful. good feedback and they love us yes, yes. customers oh, here love us i love mm -hmm. that okay mm -hmm. and what are some tips because i see you know you have your different areas here to shop any okay. tips for people um well when you're going through tables, just make sure you go through the table because a lot of items are worth a lot of money. A lot of the brown boxes, they don't, you know, you can't really tell what's in there, but customers can pull up their Amazon apps and it has like the option to scan a barcode. They can scan the barcode on the box. It'll, you know, it'll tell them what the item is and how much it goes for. That's so cool. So they get to okay. see how much it is outside before they actually purchase it here. And how much you're saving, right? Exactly. I mean, that is awesome. Big time. Okay, so you also do raffles on Saturdays. We I hear that's pretty popular. What mm -hmm. kind of things do you raffle? So last week we raffled an Apple Watch, brand new um, a phone, a tablet, wow. and a karaoke device where mm -hmm. you know you can record and stuff mm -hmm. and we do that every week mm -hmm. um, towards the end of the raffle for people that waited and didn't win we kind of grab like a bunch of cash we throw it up and people pick it up and you know so we, we make it a uh, like a fun event every week see why the community loves that you're here okay <laughs> throwing cash up Sam you're amazing what a deal on Nacogdoches. Now they're open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, and 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sunday. They're closed Thursday, as he mentioned, to restock. And for more information on What a Deal, visit their Facebook page at What a Deal TX, or you can give them a call at 708-864-7777. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. And coming up, look at this delicious dish. We are going to show you a new restaurant with more incredible views of the city where dinner starts late to beat the heat. And make back to school even just gift giving a whole lot easier with the right local products, plus some meal planning. We've got a little help for you from the expert next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, school starts right around the corner later on this month, and you may not be ready for it just yet, just yet but our next guest can definitely help you out. Teresa Chen, who's the founder of Buy Blue Bonnet, is here along with Preston Schnoor, and welcome both of you. So this is the perfect thing for if you need a gift, so back to school. How does it work? Tell me about Buy Blue Bonnet. So Buy Blue Bonnet is all about uh, working with small businesses and local businesses within uh, the state of Texas. 
we customize uh, each box to the individual and we can have um, you know, food, we can have um, party things. And, and, and it's not just gifts, but like yeah. you said, there's meal planning in here. So what, there what's is. all in this one right there? So yes, this is our picnic basket hand woven uh, that we have within here. We have cookies. Like I said, everything is customized. Oh, I love that. And then recipes, and so that way, when everybody is home from school, home from work, and everything like that, you can then go, oh, let's make this tonight for dinner, and, and prep right. for the week, right? That's right, and super easy. Um, each one of our kits here has um, the, all the ingredients you need. You just need to um, get in the protein, add in the vegetables, put in the seasoning, and you're good to go. And you're good to go. Okay, now, some of the boxes can be either customizable or you have the the, the kits, if you will, right. the monthly box. And so this one is our back to school box. In here, we've got some good stuff. Keep the germs away from the kids coming back from school. We have some Crayola I love these soap. things, this whole, just like, yeah, look at those things. I, I'd like those things. Doesn't that just, just hit you with nostalgia? With. And the cutest thing in the world, this, and hold that real steady for the camera. We have and a little notepad. Who likes to put a note in the lunchbox saying, you know, I love you or do good in school today, but that one's a little bit different, right? Yeah, so my mom always used to put notes in my lunchbox and I'd love them, but I would never admit that as an elementary school kid. And I love <laughs> cookies. And so this is a great way. Um, it's edible marker and you can just write on here, the kid can eat the cookie and it's just perfect. That's absolutely fantastic. And again, you use all local vendors here, right? I do. Every single product is handmade and homemade by someone. So there's artisans in Waco and Dallas and Austin. So they are all within the great state of Texas. Thus, the Buy Blue Bonnet name. And, and you've got very, on your website, it's like, okay, uh, let's see, I need a gift for a teacher or something like that. And you have some prepackaged boxes, but then you can customize whatever you want. Yep, we have three different options for you. If you want a pre-made box, we have um, themes that are preset on our site. We also have uh, monthly themes. And lastly, we have customized corporate um, gifts that you can just reach out fill so, out this form. Exactly. So if you'd like to pack a box with us, this is kind of our process. Say you're a realtor and you want something to put in an open house, a great gift would be something from the welcome home box. Oh. Say you're having an in-law come out of town and you like their dog more than you like them, you give them some dog food. And this dog food is all natural, so would you he's, like to go he's ahead? Not, he's not married yet, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> would you like to go ahead and try some dog well, treats? Welcome, in-laws. Have some dog treats, so. Okay, so these are, so would you sneak them in on your in-laws though? Um, well I don't have in-laws yet, but hopefully I wouldn't have to. <laughs> what do you think of them? These aren't bad, a little dry, but you know, um, give you a little bit of sugar. But like I said, anything that you want, then you have. And he, he of course is in theater, so that's why, yeah. And he goes for the, the funny line there, so. But if I have um, a whole list of things, and even if it's not, a, can you shop for me? and? hundred percent. I would love to. So think of me as your personal shopper. You have a gift to um, to give to someone. You want to make a good impression. You don't know what to get them. Tell me about them. I would love to create a box just for the individual. And when they pick out items from our um, product here, they will remember you. Oh, so even I don't have to go through. I want you know A, B, C, and D. I just say this person uh, loves movies or whatever, and you will go. You know, hey, here's a great idea for this. That's fantastic. It's like idea. your own personal shopper. Love that. Okay, and where can folks uh, find you? We are on um, our website is by Bluenet by Bluebonnet dot com. Mm -hmm. You can also find us on Instagram at by Bluebonnet. And, and if you didn't catch all that, you can go to our website, salive.com, yes. click on the SE and SA Live tab, scan the QR code, and it will take you right there. Thank you very much. Great idea. I love this idea. Appreciate it. All right. Summer, of course, is coming to an end. Well, not when you look at the forecast, but anyway, did you have a summer romance? Summer loving. Yeah, never mind. And the movie character's dead. Still ahead. We try to name the summer love movie <laughs> just one image. <laughs> And coming up next on SA Live, look at these delicious dishes. We are taking you to a new rooftop restaurant and we'll tell you how you can score a free cocktail. By the way, I was singing Grease just in case you didn't uh, gather that. Okay.
win the lottery tonight, more than a billion dollars. First thing you would do, yeah, there's a lot of smart folks out there, get a lawyer, then buy a house, buy a car, go on vacation, quit your, only 4% of people would quit your job. Maybe they're getting a lawyer first, then gonna do that. All right, you can still vote on there and buy me a lottery ticket if you will. Welcome back to SA Live here in beautiful historic Market Square. And Fiona is out at another beautiful spot dining al fresco today over there at a restaurant, which is right next door to the Paramore. Hey, Fiona. Hey there. Yes, we are here at the new restaurant Colette, which is right, as you mentioned, just a few steps from Paramore up here on the rooftop. And joining me right now is, of course, Alma Diaz, the CFO of Paramore Hello. and Chef Rodrigo Landa. All right. And of course, we have our fabulous assistant Darlene here as well, executive chef. Um, let's talk about what we've got in front of us, because these are some of the most popular dishes, right? Yes, they are. First okay. right here, we have the tiradito snapper. Mm -hmm. That it's a red snapper filet, a thin slice, a little bit of guava, some uh, camote chips or sweet potato, uh, some mint and cilantro oil, just to give it a little bit of, you know, color to the plate. Here we have the moqueca, that it's a Brazilian traditional dish. It has, uh, it has uh, mussels, red snapper, that it's seared, some uh, cilantro and chimichurri rice. And for the garnish, uh, we have that um, coral twill, that it's pink, so it matches the whole Colette vibe and everything. Mm -hmm. Also, we do put some uh, jumbo shrimps and that in calamari. All that color comes from that dende oil that it's really, really common to find it over there in Brazil, you know? Okay. Over here, we have a standing tuna sandwich that it's, uh, well, I mean... Standing, not swimming. Exactly, <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, here at Colette, we have the opportunity to be just bold with all our dishes, you know, our creativity just goes wild. And it's a tuna tartare with gochujang mayo and togarashi. Has also some ponsu crispy onions on top. And I think what really makes this dish really great, of course, of the flavors, but I mean, mostly the uh, combination of textures. You know, okay, you yeah. got crispy, you got soft, creamy. And all it all that. works together. It all works together, yes, okay. exactly. And Executive Chef Darlene is gonna be making and yes. putting together what? Darlene is gonna be making or tlayuda. Okay. That it's considered like a uh, Oaxacan pizza. Okay. Pizza, yes. And well, we have this uh, yellow corn homemade masa. It has uh, some uh, special herbs or spiced herbs, our prime ribeye steak. Then uh, she's also gonna put some uh, red onion, pickled red onions, I'm sorry. Some uh, radish, chorizo, and to top it and give it a little bit more color, some edible flowers and some of our microgreens as well. And if guys you didn't know about microgreens, microgreens are really good for your health as well. They pack a lot of nutrients. So, I mean, we also care about that, you know, to share that knowledge and good things and product with our clients. You know, ah, well, it all looks amazing Thank and of course much. smells amazing. Thank and you. Alma, um, what makes Colette different? Well, just look around. I mean, our view is impressive. Uh, our food is delicious. And uh, the experience that the customers get when they come here is fabulous. They are in a kitchen, uh, you know, we have- a, Because our, it's, right, it's right behind it's us. It's right behind mm -hmm. us. They are uh, next to the, to the chef. chef. The chef comes out, right? You come out, yeah, you talk they, to everybody. He yes. comes, talk to them, explains our dishes. And, and there's yes, a special going on right now, right? Yes, yes, yes. We have a special from our sister company, uh, Paramore. Everyone that makes a reservation uh, can get a drink from Paramore. A which cocktail. Is next door. Cheers, everybody. Yes. I love it. So, call, make your reservations here at Colette. Remember, dinner starts late, right? Eight o'clock. Yes, it's eight o'clock. the heat. Very European. <laughs> yes, very yeah, European. Very European. <laughs> 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. All right. So, we'll For more information here. on Colette, here at the rooftop, right next to Paramore. Just head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan that QR code on your screen. Salud! Oh, that is, I love the view out there, looking at the San Antonio Museum and then panning over to seeing uh, Central Catholic High School. Gorgeous out there. And it's in our backyard. We can go to lunch, or go to, well, I don't know if they're open for lunch. So anyway, <laughs> all right, thanks, Fiona. Enjoy. All right. Coming up next, we put our summer romance movie knowledge to the test. Can we guess the movie from just one image? Welcome back to 
Santa say Live. Well, of course, there's nothing like a summer romance, especially on the big screen. We're going to play a little game here. And since Fiona is out dining al fresco, Avery, our producer trainee, who is also quite the thespian herself. We are going to go head to head and see if we can guess. And, and here's how we play. We're going to put a video on the screen. It's going to start to reveal a movie related to summer love. And then whoever guesses it first gets a point. Okay. Are you ready? I am so ready for this, Mike. Okay, let the first one go. Let's see, uh, oh, what? It's like a mansion. Um, oh, it's a party. High School um, Musical? No. Dirty Dancing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody puts Baby in a corner. Nope. Okay. One for Avery. Next. Okay. Um, um, oh, yes. It's uh, Checkered Gym Shoes. <laughs> That's the name of the movie? Yes. Oh, what is that? I don't know. No idea. I've never seen that one. Oh, I got nothing. Me neither. Wet, Wet Hot, Hot American, American Summer. Summer. Okay. That's definitely a summer romance movie, though. Avery still has one. Next movie. Wrapping paper? No. Beach. Bonfire, beach chairs. Um, it's more than a day at the beach. Girl beach in the days? Girl in the Chase Lounge. Beach night? <laughs> um. Oh, it's, it's a Nicholas Sparks movie. I don't know which one, though. I bet it's a Nicholas Sparks movie. I was right though, it's Nicholas Sparks. I was gonna say that. <laughs> yes. Next, still one zip. I'm doing real good, aren't I? Let's see. Um, uh, I feel like I recognize that haircut, but. Wow, I'm, I'm one I, I'm, I did, I'm a one head wonder here. Oh, um, 100 Days of Summer. 500, 500, I was close. Math does not even. <laughs> I'm a film here, major, not a math major. Last <laughs> one, we'll give you a half a point for that. So one and a half to nothing. Um, the Blue Chevelle. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, John? Um, uh, it's a Summer car. Summer '67. Um, no, the Brian Adams song. Summer '69. Oh, 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 oh yes, uh, yes, John Cusack, and it's um, uh, sixteen wishes. Yeah, Good, 16, 16 candles. candles. I, give me at least a point of, no, 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 it's, say, say anything. We were saying anything. So <laughs> I got the actor That's right, true. so I get a point for that. One and a half to one, she wins. Good job. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, tomorrow on SA Live, need a shot of coffee. Uh, PJ's celebrating their 45th anniversary and they've got special birthday coffee drinks for us. And even though there's only a couple of weeks left of summer, Kids still need something to do, and we have got some great summer projects for the little ones. That and a whole lot more tomorrow, 1 o'clock on SA Live. Yeah, about a week or so ago, Powerball was over a billion dollars, and now Mega tonight is over a billion dollars. First thing you do if you won the lottery, you got all five numbers and the Mega Ball. Get a lawyer quick. Then buy a house, then all the other stuff, go on vacation. You can take a really, really long vacation. And don't forget your favorite afternoon television host. And me if you win the lottery too. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Stay overcome.